Welcome to my Pokemon challenge, King Dong here, where today we find out if I can beat Pokemon Crystal with only one Iglybuff. Pokemon Fire Red with only one Grummer wasn't that bad, but we really struggled with Rock and Ground type of Pokemon, especially Onyx. But anyway, let's talk about Iglybuff. The base stats for Iglybuff are terrible, especially the speed and defense. The special defense isn't much better. Iglybuff only learns one attacking move by level up. This is Pound at level 9, so I'm going to have to grind from the start. However, it can learn quite a few moves by TM, such as Toxic, Icy Wind and Psychic. We do, however, have a weakness to fighting types. I'm writing this as I go through the challenge, but this part is being written before I start. How far do you think I can get? I think I'll really struggle with Morty's Ghost Typing, as the only move I would have learnt by this point is Pound. I'll have to struggle to find a TM. I think I'll also have a challenge with Chuck's Fighting Types, Jasmine's Steel Type, and of course my best friend for the last challenge, Bruno. He only has one Onyx this time. I think I'm also going to struggle with blue, but I will win. But I think I'll have to be at least level 100 to stand a chance against red. Let me know if you think I can win. The rules are, only one Iggly buff to be used in battle, others for HMs. No glitches or exploits, and no items in battle except held items and Pokeballs. Straight away, I've used the universal Pokemon randomizer to replace Chikorita with Iggly buff, as I feel Typhlosion will give us the greatest difficulty. I name Iggly buff Vera Videl. I then find out it's a male. But I guess Vera can be a male or a female, right? Anyway, take a guess where the name's from. We start off with no attacking moves. So we have to grind up to level 9 to learn Pound. To do this, I have to use up all my power points first. With low defence, this is brutal. After spending all my money on potions, I realised that Hopib only has Splash, so I've already wasted all my money. But hey ho, what are you going to do? This battle with Hoppib went on for about 10 minutes, even with speed up on. What have I got myself into here? Eventually it takes itself out with recall damage using its own struggle. But we do it and eventually get to level 9 and learn Pound. First rival battle time and we put Cyndaquil to sleep as it lands a Leer. We then pound it down for the win. Singer's going to go a very long way in this challenge. We then take the egg back to Professor Elm and off we go to the first gym. But on our way, we stop in to Sprout Tail to get a couple of more levels, as well as picking up Flash. Time for Faulkner, and he leads off with Pidgey. V hits a pound for two thirds health as Pidgey lands a weak tackle. A second pound takes it out. Pidgeotto is next and goes for a gust as we hit three pounds and we beat Faulkner. I then collect the egg, and as we get to the next gym, it hatches. Bugsy sends out a Metapod and V takes it down with three pounds. Next up is Kakuna. V gives it a sweet kiss and it hurts itself. V hits a pound and Kakuna is confused no more and uses Harden. We land another pound as it uses Poison Sting. One more pound takes it out. Last up is Scyther who uses Fury Cutter as V lands a sweet kiss and then hurts itself in confusion as V misses a mud slap. Scyther hits itself again and V lands a pound. It lands a quick attack. I put it to sleep one more pound and we get the win. Croden starts off with Ghastly and uses Hypnosis which puts V to sleep and then he keeps on using it. He then uses Lick and misses. We wake up and use Sing and then it's his time to sleep as we then use Mud Slap twice for the win. Next is Zubat who goes for a bite as we use Sweet Kiss to get the confusion. It then hits itself as we land a pound. It misses a Supersonic as we land a pound for the knockout. Last up is Quilava and it uses Ember as we use Sweet Kiss to get the confusion, but it breaks through and uses Ember again as we land a Mud Slap. He misses an Ember, allowing V to take him down to half health. He then snaps out of confusion and misses a Smoke Screen. Two more Mud Slaps and we get the win. Looks at Joey then, cool to remind you all to like and subscribe. Next up, Whitney. I can remember her being a pain, but this was really easy as I found the TM for rollout and taught it to V. First up is Clefairy, and V puts it to sleep and then goes for rollout. We hit three times for the win. Up next is Miltank, who outsped with a stomp, and then smash a rollout for three quarters health as Miltank then misses its rollout. We connect for the win. Head to Burn Tower in Equitic City to face our rival, but Haunter hits us with a curse, so we're doomed from the start as this takes a chunk of health each turn. I restart and try again, but we lose, so it's time to grind. We grind up against the Kimono Girls and beat all of them 
to get the HM for Surf. I head back to the Burn Tower, five levels higher, to see if we can beat Croden, and we still need a few more levels as Haunter's Curse still takes V out, and we miss too many rollouts. And when we do get to Kualava, we end up getting burned. I've now tried to beat Croden so many times, I've lost count. How many times we've lost? Back to grinding we go. Head back at level 40 and it goes so much better. Porter still starts off with the curse as V goes straight for a rollout. It then hits but we miss the next one as the curse takes us down to half health. A third one hits taking Haunter out. Magnemite gets hit by a rollout as we get hit by curse damage and a sonic boom taking V down to 16 HP. But I gave V a berry to hold so we get 10 HP back. Another rollout connects and takes Magnemite out. Next up is Zubat who gets one shot by rollout. Last out is Quilava, who misses an ember and we land a one shot with a rollout. We win at last. Then fall through the floor and find the three legendary dogs. Next up, Morty, the ghost type trainer. He leads off with Ghastly. V uses rollout that takes it under half health. He then uses curse and takes herself out. We now take damage every turn. Next out is Haunter. He goes for hypnosis and misses. V connects with a rollout, nearly taking it out. As we get hit by a curse damage. It misses another hypnosis and is taken out. Gengar is next and it uses a mean look as V takes it out. Last is his other haunter who uses mean look and we get the win with one last rollout. Chuck time and I'm worried. The gym itself was hard enough but a combo of Sweet Kiss and Shadow Bull came through. It took three attempts to take out Chuck but the third time was the charm. Primate uses Leer as V hits a Sweet Kiss. Primate hits himself as we land a Shadow Bull. Taking Prime up to a sliver. It lands a super effective karate shot and V goes for a shadow ball to get the knockout. Last up is Podirath. It misses a dynamic punch as we put it to sleep. Next turn, Chuck uses a full heal and we land a shadow ball. He misses again and V lands another sing. V lands a shadow ball and Podirath wakes up and misses again and V lands the final blow. Get the medicine for Jasmine, then head to the gym. We try to beat her loads of times and keep losing. So I replace Sweet Kiss for Swagger, so all Pokemon do more damage when they hit themselves. We still don't stand a chance. Off grinding we go. We start grinding, Youngster Joey calls to remind you all to ring the bell. And head to Price to see if I can beat the Ice Gym. Seal is first and two Shadow Balls and it's down. Dugong next and he hits with a critical Aura Beam. I use Shadow Ball. We then exchange Aura Beams and Shadow Balls until it goes down. Last is Pillow Swine. He uses a Mist as I land Shadow Ball. And this is a Blizzard and we hit another Shadow Ball which crits and gets us the win. Back to Jasmine. I've tried so many times and get so close. I think we need just a couple more levels. As the Steelix is a steel wall. And that pun is intended. Whilst grinding, we bump into Raikou. Also, I thought I'd let you know that whilst I'm grinding, I'm watching my Dry Bread's latest Pokemon challenge. Go check him out. We return to Jasmine. Magnemite's first. V lands a Swagger. Magnemite misses a Thunder Wave, and I land a Shadow Ball. And then hits the server confusion and we land a shadow ball taking it out. Our other Magnemite is next and we land a swagger. And this Magnemite also hits itself in confusion. We then land a critical shadow ball for the knockout. Last up is Steelix and we land Icy Wind. It misses an eye until we hit another Icy Wind, leaving it with only a little bit of health. I then get hit by an iron tail. She then uses a hyper potion as we land another Icy Wind. She then lands one more iron tail, one last Icy Wind, and that's it. I've done it, finally go to the basement of the department store and we have the easiest rival fight with Croden so far. Other than getting paralysed, it was a one-shot sweep. Back 
to the radio tower. We have quite a few easy battles, but this one rocket member uses self-destruct, taking V down to only 96 health. Now it's time for the next gym badge. Glez Dragon type gym, and it's a sweep with icy wind. Other than the second dragon air using thunder wave and paralyzing V. Also the Kingdra as icy wind is neutral. But a couple of shadow balls get me the win. Off to Victory Road and the next rival battle with Croden. It starts off with Sneasel, it lands a Fury Cutter and we land a Rollout. A second one gives us the knockout. We then hit a third one on Golbat for a one shot. We land the next roll at a Magneton and it lives on a sliver. It connects with a Thunder Wave and paralyzes us. I miss a roll out, V gets hit by a Thunder Shock and we finally land a roll out for the knockout. Haunter then uses Mean Look. V hits a roll out leaving Haunter with a bit of health. It lands a Confuse Ray and V gets fully paralyzed. It then takes itself out using Curse. Up next, Kadabra. V lands a super effective Shadow Ball for a one shot. Last up, Typhlosion. He hits with a Flame Wheel and we land a super effective rollout. We then get hit by another Flame Wheel. We manage to land a final rollout, giving us the win. Now, time for the Elite Four. Let me know if you think I can win. Next up is Will, who starts off with Zartu, who hits V with a Confuse Ray. V hits itself with Confusion. I then land a one shot with Shadow Ball. Next is Jinx, who hits me with Double Slap. I managed to get through Confusion and land a Shadow Ball. Executor is up next and V snaps out Confusion as we land a Shadow Ball. I then get slammed with a Psychic as we get the knockout with Icy Wind. I outspeed Slowbro and land a Shadow Ball, taking it down to low health. Slowbro uses Amnesia as we get the knockout. Last up is Zartu who outspeeds and slams with a Psychic, taking V down to only 18 health. We then one shot with Shadow Ball for the win. I use a Max Potion between battles as this is allowed in the rules. Next up is Koga and I lost so many times. This is just one of them, but I just keep, kept on resetting until we got this run. Koga starts off with Ariados. I go for a swagger and it hits itself. We then set up a rollout as it hits itself again, taking it out. Venomoth is next. It hits a weak psychic. We land a one shot with rollout. Now it's Fortress and we land a rollout. It lays spikes, it then uses protect. That's the power boost gone for rollout as I land a swagger and it hits itself, so I start the roll up again. It takes itself out. Now it's Flint's older bro, Muck, and we do about a quarter of its health and it uses acid armor. I hit again, taking it just under half health and V gets hit with a sludge bomb. Next roll out takes it out. Last up, Crobat, and it uses double team. And we still hit a one shot. We heal up and restore PP and move on to our mate from the last run, Bruno. As expected, I lose loads of times. So, it's time to grind. Grind up on Victory Road until level 79. And at level 79, we still can't get past his May Champ. So again, it's back to grinding. We go back at level 85 and I land a Shadow Ball, taking Hitmon top down to a sliver as it uses Dig. And it only does a sliver. We finish it off with a rollout. Next is Hitmon Lee. I land a rollout for about half health as he wastes his turn. The next rollout takes it out. Now Hitmonchan. It lands a critical super effective Max Hunch, taking me down to just over half health. I land a rollout for a one shot. It's now time for Maychamp. Last roller and it's down. Onyx is last and it's a one shot with Icy Wind. The last member is Karen, the dark type trainer. She starts off with Ombreon, V confuses it as it lands a sand attack, so we both miss our next attacks. 
I miss again as Ombreon hits itself. We land a rollout for minimal damage as Ombreon snaps out of confusion. It then confuses me as I land the next rollout. We get hit by another sand attack and I land the finishing blow. Next is Volplu who goes down to a rollout. Gengar's next and it hits us with a curse and goes down to rollout. Murkrow gets a one shot by Icy Wind and Helm Doom is left so I hit it with a rollout for two thirds of its health. I then lose health to the curse and she hits a flamethrower and I get burnt. Karen uses a max potion as we land a rollout. One last hit and we win. Next up is the Pokemon Champion, Dragon Master Lance. This is the final chance to guess if I can beat the Elite Four and the Champion. Let's do this. Lance leads off with Gyarados, we land a Swagger and he hits himself. I then start a rollout ready for Charizard. He then hits a Rain Dance and the next rollout gets the knockout. Next up is first Dragonite who gets one shot by rollout. Aerodactyl is next outspeeds and slams me with a weak Hyper Beam. We land another one shot with rollout. Up next is Charizard and our rollout was finished. V lands an Icy Wind for half health. We land a critical flamethrower as we land finishing Icy Wind. Last up is his level 50 Dragonite and we one shot with Icy Wind. Era of Idell was then entered into the Hall of Fame and we've done it! Well, nearly. I know you want to know if I can beat blue and red. Now it's time to head to Kanto. We do all the gyms, as you know it's a bruise after doing the rest of the game. Blue time, and we lose over and over again. So I thought I'd use my last rare candy to take me to level 95, and I finally won. Let's have a look at that battle. I one shot his Pidgeot with Icy Wind and then take Alakazam out with one Shadow Ball. Rhyhorn is also a one shot with Icy Wind. Next is Gyarados and we land one Shadow Ball. And he puts up a Rain Dance. We land a Rollout as he lands a Hyper Beam. The second Rollout nearly takes it out and Blue uses a Full Restore. The Rollout misses and we use Rollout again. He slams me with another Hyper Beam. The next Rollout takes him down. Executor takes a rollout and lives on a quarter health. It takes in sunlight as we land a rollout and take it out. Last up is Arcanine and we get the win with a one shot. Next up is Red. Tell me who you think I can win. I lose a whole bunch of times at level 95, so I'm going to grind up to level 98 as I'd like to do this without hitting level 100. At level 98, I return, and there's still no luck. So, we go and grind up to level 100. The next video you're going to see is one of the videos at level 100. By this point, I've decided to go and pick up Double Team, and I've now tried for about 9 hours. I then finally managed to get this run, and I also gave V Zap Cannon over Psychic. Red leads off with his Pikachu. I get up six double teams as Red misses four thunders and one charm. But lands his fifth thunder and misses the next one as I one shot with Shadow Ball. Espeon is next. He lands a swift as V gets another one shot with Shadow Ball. Now it's the main wall, Snorlax. I land a Zap Cannon paralyze it. He then uses Amnesia. So I move on to rollout. I hit two times and miss the third. Snorlax then lands a body slam, leaving V with 115 HP as I start the rollout again. Three more and it goes down. Now it's Venusaur. I get a crit and a one shot. Next is Charizard who misses a flamethrower. We land a rollout, getting a one shot. Last is Blastoise. It misses Surf as we miss Zap Cannon. He misses another Surf as we land Zap Cannon and paralyze it. We then outspeed and use Shadow Ball for accuracy and get the win! That was a monster of a challenge. I nearly gave up and used items, but I'm quite stubborn. But now I can say that Iggly Buff is one of a kind and Red is an absolute beast. Thank you so much for the support. The messages on the last video really helped to push me through. I'm going to start work on the next challenge soon. I'm thinking Gen 1 with a Mei Champ. But 
If you have any ideas, comment down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn the notifications on. Until next time, King Dong, out.